can be you know, a bit of a strain if we find a... Hello there and welcome to another Masterclass Monday. So thinking about theatres reopening soon or performances starting to happen again, some of you might be feeling a little bit rusty from a long break for, you know, for auditions or rehearsals as companies begin to start working on their projects again. So today's topic is looking at ways you can sort of resharpen those skills and get stuck back into being creative. You know, these tips can be great if you're returning to community theatre or want to build a home practice in general or you return to professional work. It's a great chance, to be honest, to just be creative. So when we take a break from performing, it can put a bit of strain on our voice if we suddenly find ourselves using it a lot again. You know, the old adage of use it or lose it really can apply here. And if you want to return to performing with the same vocal ability or even more ability than you had before, I really recommend that you take even just 15 minutes daily to run through some vocal exercises to avoid accidentally finding yourself with a damaged voice once you're up and performing again. Yeah, the National Theatre have an exceptional series of videos on different vocal exercises focused on all the different parts of the voice and I strongly recommend using the link in the description of this video and checking it out. As with returning to all things, take it slow. You know, pay attention to how your voice feels when you start stretching those vocal abilities again and just, you know, work your way back to where you were before. If you're wanting to work your creativity a bit as well, why not try experimenting? You know, create some new voices that you might not have done before. See how subtle you can make your changes or, you know, go wild and have fun with trying something absolutely bizarre. So the eternal struggle for all dancers and movers during lockdown, myself included, has been that unless you happen to have a particularly large room in your house with easily movable furniture, it has been difficult to have any space to move. So now that we are able to spend more time outside and start to meet with other people, I highly recommend heading out to your local park or somewhere where you've got plenty of space around you and you know try what just one of your previous routines that you know well. You know, I cannot emphasize enough Take a huge amount of time to warm up and take it slow, listen to your body, don't immediately expect it to be able to tackle things at the same intensity that it could before if you found yourself having a large break. Or, but if you're able to, meet a friend at the park and you know, whilst maintaining social distancing, try building a new routine together or take a moment to watch each other performing a routine you both know and see if you can pick up on any bad habits that either of you might have gained by uh, not, either not practicing or practicing on your own, you know, we all get them. So embrace your space and get yourself feeling your best self before launching into moving once again. And it can feel a little bit embarrassing practicing movement outside. You know, it is easy to feel like everybody's staring, but truly, everyone's get either getting on with their day, and if you do find someone's watching, it's probably because you're doing something interesting. So cast those fears aside and don't let them stop you enjoying your creativity. You've nothing to be embarrassed about. Have a good time. It doesn't take long for some of us to feel quite rusty with acting and performing a script when we take a break. So I strongly recommend just take a monologue and working with it, maybe pair up with a friend and either socially distanced or online, take turns at directing each other. Equally, if you can find a play with a small enough number of actors and you're able to maintain social distance and safety, why not meet up in your local park? Have a go at reading a couple of scenes together. You know, mark through that normal rehearsal process. You know, try an initial read through, then really unpick those characters and then try the scenes with different objectives and intentions. You know, get your head back into that sort of creative game. If you want to tackle a play with more characters than you're allowed in physical space, Hop online. You know, I know of a few play reading groups, one of which has been performing the entire Harry Potter film series for each other. Uh, it's a great chance to have fun, flex your acting muscles, and even, you know, work on scripts you otherwise wouldn't get to do so. Devising can be a very personal process, and some people will have actually found lockdown, you know, a great period of innovation for them feeling more creative than ever to match the change in the times, whereas others might have actually found devising in this setup next to impossible. It's important first to note it's not a failing if you found it difficult to devise work during this time at all. 
you know, now that there is a little bit more freedom, why not meet with a fellow creative? Spend time playing with a socially distanced devised piece. See how mirroring or other physical exercises change when you need to maintain that distance at all times and you know, make sure to keep things safe at all times. Why not meet with other creatives? You know, take turns pitching some of your early ideas to them, either online or in a park. See, see talking them through and listening to feedback helps you push through some of the more difficult stages of devising that you're encountering. You know, this gives you a great chance to form some new links in the community, as well as re-engaging that creative brain. So thank you for watching this week's masterclass. I hope you've enjoyed it and take the opportunity to resharpen your creativity soon. If you have any suggestions for what we could talk about next, then do let us know in the comments below. As I said before, I really recommend, even if your creative instincts have been sharp already, take some time, just enjoy being creative before the madness all starts again. So, as always, stay safe, stay positive, and we'll see you soon. Our voice when we finally...